There's some 20 plus QB transfers in the portal that have gone on to different power five programs and looking to start in 2023. So with most teams wrapping up spring practice over the last couple of weeks, it's a great time to do a quick stock up stock down report on some notable QB transfers. Let's bring on on three coaching insider Jesse Simonton for this stock up stock down report. All right, let's start at Notre Dame, Sam Hartman. Jesse, there was actually some whispers early on that this Sam Hartman was not the same Sam Hartman that they had coming over from Wake Forest, but he did look really effective in the spring game and kind of had a great second half of spring practice in general. So where you stand, stock up or stock down with Sam Hartman? Sam Hartman's stock is surging. You know, it's surging so well right now that he just – basically made the guy behind them enter the transfer portal. So Sam Hartman was always going to perform well in a game-like atmosphere. Could counted for three touchdowns, flawless, almost only a couple incompletions despite, you know, really poor weather, inclement weather. So Sam Hartman will be QB1 for the Irish in 2023. All right. There was a lot of fans talking over the weekend about Shador Sanders. The Colorado spring game was on Saturday, televised to a national audience. How do you feel about Shador Sanders now that the spring has ended for him? Stock up or stock down? Bye, bye, bye. I think it's stock up for Shador Sanders. I mean, this is a guy a lot of folks had never seen him throw the football before. He is yeah. a legitimate FBS quarterback. He is going to have better weapons this season than he did even at Jackson State. I know that may sound crazy, but they've recruited some really good players, whether it's Travis Hunter bringing him over, but then a guy like Jimmy Horn, they're bringing in some more weapons via the transfer portal. We know Dion's got that roster reckoning happening as we speak. The offensive line's a concern, but this is an offense that was last in almost every category a year ago. I think Shador is a perfect fit in Sean Lewis's kind of flash fast go-go offense stock up. Let's go to Lincoln, Nebraska, where Jeff Sims was taking over for incumbent starter Casey Thompson, who's out for the spring with injury. Did Sims take advantage of the extra rep, stock up or stock down on Jeff Sims? They're going to think this market's crazy, but it's a stock up here, too. I mean, Jeff Sims was not this quarterback a lot of folks expected at Georgia Tech because he was surrounded by piss poor talent. He will have better players at Nebraska. He also will be in a better offensive system. I thought he looked really good when Marcus Satterfield. The fact that Nebraska had their quarterbacks live in their spring game was crazy, but you can do that when you have six guys on your roster. Jeff Sims ran over two defenders for a touchdown. As Matt Rule said himself, he's a big quarterback with a big arm who runs a 4-4. There's only so many guys like that in America stock up for Jeff All Sims. Right. Let's head over to Ole Miss, where Lane Kiffin's got his three-ring circus going. Spencer Sanders, stock up or stock down? I really think you could spin the wheel here, stock up, stock down, or even stock holding. But I think ultimately it's probably stock down. And that's no fault of Spencer Sanders. He was awesome in the spring game. Accounted for over 300 yards, four total touchdowns. It's what he didn't do the rest of spring practice and who he's also battling against that I think – kind of hurts his stock heading into the offseason. Jackson Darts, the incumbent starter, was also really good in the spring. And then Walker Howard, the five-star transfer from LSU, was just as good as Spencer Sanders in the spring practice. So I think the fact that even though he is a veteran quarterback with a lot of experience, that he couldn't separate himself over the last six weeks, at least dings his chances considerably to be Ole Miss's starter in, in week one in 2023. Just a follow-up to Ole Miss's situation. How do you think this QB room is going to play out? Do you think that Lane Kiffin can hold on to all three arms heading into the 23 season? Well, be, considering that Jackson Dart and Howard have already transferred, they can't get a waiver, it's going to be tough for that room to change. And so I think the idea even going into the spring is that Walker Howard is the future at the position, so like 2024, and it would be Dart versus Sanders for this fall. We'll see how it plays out. Kiffin has not tipped his hand. I think Dart probably enters with a slight advantage because he did kind of respond to the added competition this spring. But that job is still open as we enter the next phase of the offseason in Oxford. All right. Billy Napier brought in Graham Mertz at Florida to take over the offense for Anthony Richardson, who's headed to the NFL. How did you think Mertz did this spring in Gainesville? Stock up or stock down? It's stock holding for me. So just let's let's not buy, let's not sell, let's just kind of wait and see. 
Graham Mertz is a guy that received a decent amount of a plum from behind the scenes, the whispers, but just going to practice and doing what you're supposed to do doesn't mean that you're going to be some great starting quarterback. I think what we saw was some of the concerns in the spring game, the same things that kind of plagued him at Wisconsin, frankly, that the accuracy isn't always there. Um, it, an inability to maybe elevate those around him. Graham Mertz is not a bad quarterback by any means, but I don't think he's a guy that's going to dramatically cover the fact that Florida doesn't have a lot of receiver talent. The fact that the offensive line is going to be worse than it was a year ago. So stock holding, perhaps they'll get him some more weapons in the second transfer portal, or perhaps they may add another QB to that room and push him for that starting job this fall. True. We'll see how that plays out. They could enter the transfer portal once again for another arm. But how is Devin Leary's transition from NC State to Kentucky going? Are you stock up or stock down on him after the spring? Stock up. Devin Leary is going to be a dude. And I know it's crazy to say this about Kentucky, a team that's going to have a top five pick probably in Will Levis in the upcoming NFL draft. But Devin Leary and Liam Cohen are going to be a better offense for the Wildcats in 2023 than they had in 2022. It seems crazy to say, but I think Devin Leary, healthy from that torn labrum, a guy who threw 35 touchdowns, five picks in 2021. I don't know if he'll replicate those exact numbers, but the reports out of Lexington have been glowing this spring. Kentucky very quietly has one of the better receiving cores in the SEC. I like that offensive marriage between Cohen and, Leary, Cohen and Leary. Stock up big time. All right. A lot of new faces and new places. A lot of quarterback battles. We'll continue to keep watch on all these transfers. Heck, there might be more quarterbacks hitting the transfer portal in the coming days. Jesse, thanks for stopping by Coach's Corner today to talk. Thank you for watching. Make sure you smash that subscribe button for me. And remember to check out all the videos on the On3 YouTube page.